there probably isn't a hotter name or two names in the fantasy realm running back wise as Alex Collins and Kenyon Drake, right? Mm. Would you guys agree? Soaring stars. Mm. Soaring stars mm. right now kind of came out of nowhere. You picked them up in free agency. Sure. They're really helping you out. Uh, let's take it one at a time. We'll start off with Alex Collins. All right. Alex oh, Collins, let's go. <laughs> Before we get too far into Alex Collins and and what he's doing and and the the perceived value of where you guys have him right now, let's dive into a little bit of this Ravens backfield and who's there already and kind of the contract situation for so we know what we're dealing with heading into next year and just to see how crowded this backfield is. So, so what do you got? Well, currently, it's a little bit of a mess. It has been all season, but Collins has really showed himself well. So I'm I'm looking forward to what what could be happening here. So the, the Ravens have Alex Collins on the low for the next two years. So he's not going anywhere. Buck Allen has another cheap year left on his deal, so he's probably not going anywhere. Danny Woodhead was signed for two more years, but I'm pretty sure they've already paid him all his guaranteed money. And if they want to keep him for this next year, they're gonna owe him two and a half million, and then three million for for 2019. So I could see them cutting ties with the 32 year old injury prone dude that that they're replacing with Buck Allen for like less than a third of the price, and they should. I, in my opinion, should replace him with Buck Allen. Buck Allen deserves as much run as the Ravens can give him. I thought he played has played excellent this year in, in the time given. I sure. agree. And then you've got Terrence West, who's going to be a free agent next year, so he's gone. And then you got the uh, the lone forgotten man over there, Kenneth Dixon, still lingering. My boy, my yeah. dog. Kenny D. Got a little meniscus, went in for a touch-up, had to get the whole thing redone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The then PEDs they, couldn't save him. Then they, got yeah, popped for that. Got popped for PEDs. He's serving a suspension now. Harbaugh was kind of asked about the whole situation. He said he thinks he can be a real good player in this league. He wants it real bad. He made a mistake. You know, blah, 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 blah. But Kenneth Dixon, you know, could legitimately be a factor in this backfield next year. So as we move forward in our perceived value, let's kind of keep that in the back of our mind. I know I really like Kenneth Dixon. Maybe some people have fallen off the wagon or gotten back on the wagon. I never know which which way that's supposed <laughs> to go. Yeah, whichever one's bad. Yeah, but uh, so let's let's get into some Alex Collins and, and the value here. First of all, is everyone here around the table thinking that, is, is this dude for real or or nah? Like, you, yeah. you buying in or you you getting out? At least for the rest of the season, you're everyone's buying in, right? I mean, gotta. Yeah, why not for the rest of the season? Look at these last six games. He's averaging over 16 and a half carries for 77 yards. He's got five touchdowns in that span. He's only playing like half the snaps. But then you throw in these four extra PPR points. All of a sudden, he's catching two balls right. a game for 20 yards a game. Which was always the bummer. Right. You weren't getting any catches out of him, and you kind of know the defense could kind of at least lean on the fact that there was no chance of him catching the ball in the beginning of the season. And then I think what adds to this is now that – the Ravens have been moving the ball a little bit better, and there's been he's been getting solid red zone attempts, which leads to the touchdowns, which mm -hmm. he's had, you know, been doing pretty consistently, um, and really helping this team kind of continue on with their playoff hopes. Obviously, they dropped a huge one at Pittsburgh with a huge lead last week. Yeah, was he? But yeah, it wasn't because it of wasn't Collins. because. Yeah, it's because they didn't hand it to him more. <laughs> right. right. So I think he only had 18 carries in that game. I mean, if this dude's going to be even just a little bit involved in the passing game, like I'm all in. Right. Because I think he's looked good catching the ball. I mean, versus Pittsburgh, he caught his first ball from the slot. Second catch was a nice route out of the backfield after a play-action fake, and then Flacco delivered, like, a nice ball. He got his body turned around the right direction and, like, jetted up field, made, like, two guys miss, scampers up for more yeah. yardage, passed the third dude, tight roping it up the sideline before busting loose, like, he, breaking two more tackles. Like, you just yeah. get this guy the ball – he doesn't want to go down. He's, he's no, definitely that's not definitely interested his, in being tackled. He does no, and I think after a while, nobody's interested in really tackling right, him too because much because he's interested in running you over, right, <laughs> mauling you. And uh, he's always looked, you know, fairly natural at catching the ball, which you know I don't didn't understand why you wouldn't at least now doing what they're doing, just, show the just showing that there's a show the threat. It just puts a whole other strain on the defense, right? Um, but. So let's get into like let's let's round value this in a rookie draft. Well, hold of, on, what about okay? you, Big Co? Are you you excited? You on this train? He gave it a uh, mm -mm, no time for questions, <laughs> just action. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, everything you said about some of the plays, the specific stuff you called out right there. I mean, I I, I was very excited to see the limited use. You know what we saw out of Collins at the beginning of the year. I would be a lot more excited. 
I'm the guy. I should have him. I had on him on all of my teams, and I just roster churned. Roster him on, churned him right on, out of your right roster. out of there on, on my mm. short short leagues. You She's know, salty. Yeah, I'm so very salty he about do the situation. I've been pulling <laughs> against him for weeks now, only because he was when he was doing a little something, and I saw the flashes, and I knew that I really liked what I saw out of him. Uh, of course, I'm an SEC guy, so I, Alex Collins is no stranger to my eye. And just playing a lot of short bench leagues, and Casey and I sent five out of six of my FFPC teams to the champion to the uh, playoffs last week. Thank you very much. But Alex, none Collins, thanks to Alex, not Collins. on a single roster. And I guarantee you, he was on at least three or four of those six. I, I mean, I picked him up across the board early this year and couldn't hold him in the short bench. And now I'm a little salty. Mm-hmm. Well, you dropped a little SEC in there. I, I got a little little stat mm. uh, that Nick Chubb just joined Herschel Walker. The aforementioned Alex Collins and Darren McFadden as the only running backs to have a thousand yards or more in three seasons in the SEC. So that's pretty impressive from where it's Collins was kind of coming from. It's good company, and you know, got a little disrespected. Somebody in the Seahawks organization should probably be got the <laughs> axe for that one because yeah. right now they're they're searching, and obviously they got Chris Carson and Prosize, but they're on the shelf, yep. much like the Elf right now. Yep. <laughs> Um, it's a good call. Or Parents are moving him all around. He got over to Baltimore somehow. Yeah. Now he's on their Claimed shelf. off waivers. Now they got him for two more years on the low. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so let's get back to the task at hand here. Let's put a round value on him, and let's – second round, mid, mid-second round, everyone's in on Absolutely. Alex Collins, Big Co. Oh, yeah. you Yeah, can't get in for that. So how about 2-2? How about two, two? Give me Collins. Yeah. Yeah? Sure. 112. Still in. I'm scared to sneak into that first mm. for him. Okay. I really am. It just, it's just the stigma of the of the one next to the number. Huh? It's the one next to the number. That one is a powerful thing come pre-draft. And, um, I mean, you guys have been playing fantasy with me for a long time, especially you, Casey. I'm the king of the late, late year running back guy. That's me. I'm burning 90% of my bench all year long to have the Alex Collins and, and company. See, if you're a little bit more of a strong holder, like you're, like myself, you can still have Alex Collins. Sure. Or you were a combo platter like me who strong holds and churns a little. Oh, I like him. You still don't have Alex Collins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love a good roster churn, and, and he slipped off. But, it, you know, it's just uh, it's the value that you – if I could get a one for him, lock it up, Probably use that one. That this just a the the first round draft pick, the mystical mythical first round draft pick is just gives you so many different avenues. You know, you can grab a an aging veteran wide receiver that everybody thought was going to retire right. four years ago and have a wide receiver one for five years for Larry Fitzgerald. And you know as what you I mean? always like to say, is is it's the great insurance. The right. first your you pick, your mm-hmm. your number one, well, any pick, but especially the number one that can't get hurt from and, and it can't really go down in value. Exactly. Obviously, maybe as uh the community out there starts to you know ebb and flow on how good this class is the 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 112 could go up and down of of how much perceived value it actually has all good points and Um, it's been months since we talked about like rookies and you know like draft picks and stuff around here like you said that's my one of my favorite things to say is the draft pick can't get hurt and just every you know it's a battle of attrition out there from a week to week it's the nfl it's what happens and right now Alex, alex collins just like you said I mean, maybe with a big roster taxi squad, he might have been sitting on your team, but more than likely, he picked him up off of waivers this year. I mean, you know, dynasty 30-man benches, he's probably on your team, but it's a good chance he was out there on your waivers in most leagues, and you got you might be able to take that take that value, you know, t- take that big upswing in value and do something with it. Not that Alex Collins isn't doing something with it. A startable running back is not an easy thing to find. It's just the flash into pans – I've seen enough of them now where I'm right. like, just give me, give me some, give me that first rounder if I can get it. I think he's beyond a flash in the pan. But though, I, we right all now, said right? we said that about the last ten flashes in the pans. That's my thing. I did. This is where it gets a little. The pan <laughs> flash. <laughs> the pan flash kills if you pan's don't sell. Flashing. It does get a little tricky here. So you're basically saying that if if you had them, if anybody offered you anything with a one in front of it, you're taking it yes. and running. And it's, but I wouldn't if I had them. I'm not selling them for anything with a two. I'm not. You know what I mean? Like I, if I. What about what about you, Jason? I mean, I I would give up. One twelve. You to would get give him. up one. Well, if you had him, would you take one twelve to ship him out? <laughs> I 
I mean, not I don't, I'm about I don't to give up I would. 112. I don't know if I would, even though I, I too, and as well as anybody else who plays Dynasty Fantasy Football, has been burnt by a guy like Alex Collins exactly. or Kenyon Drake. How many times of, can you, you get know, burnt? Of your Thomas Rawls and, and, and Jeremy sure. Hills. and uh, Obviously, it's sure. not Jeremy Hill kind of – somebody got hurt in the, the – well, I guess somebody got hurt in this situation too. So similar ideas, and I can see how you would want – there's there's a certain guy – Big Co. who wants to cash out almost regardless of what's right. going on and get his return on investment. Yep. Immediately. You, you paid the little amount and you can cash him out for a bigger amount and nine times out of ten you're going to take that, which is the part of the name of the game. Jay Wayne, you you approach it a little bit differently where where you're not as big of, well, you saw this perceived value go for, well, I got him here and it's here, so but I want to hold him because this is my guy. Right. So I, I don't want to be I, – I would rather not have the situation where I dropped a dude or got rid of a dude who continues or in, improves. Like, that just you would just, kills me. You would just rather him clog your bottom of your, your bench. Till he's Shane your Vereen. Bench, yep. He's, till he's yeah. just Thomas Rawls and all. Ride him in back into the free agency pool, buddy. Yep. Yep. No way. And then I'll and I'll miss out not on some me. value spikes where I should have cashed out, but then I'm also going to have the dude that – is actually a really solid long term sure. NFL player. And you have to make a judgment call on, and on based on the way Alex Collins is running and the way he's been running all year. It's never been like I don't think it's a flash in the pan. It's been for f- 14 weeks now he has looked awesome running the ball. Like looked really solid. Yeah. Well, this, they this, just haven't been giving him the opportunities this, and he's been taking out on the passing downs but th- we're seeing a swing yeah, in the right direction. We're seeing a little bit here. of a swing and there was a, there was a Terrence West issue that was kind of hindering him in the beginning of the season. Who and I still it, like. That has gone away and ju- they kind of faded Javorius out of this as well. Woodhead came back a little bit but he hasn't been really, you know, a hindrance on Collins uh deal here. Mm-mm. So, but you have seen b- pretty much the same Collins regardless of right. how much time he's getting. Uh, all year long so that's something that you'd like to see sure you know well but the thing is jay wayne just mentioned like long-term value and it's dynasty and dynasty running backs it's a huge conundrum like look at the turnover look at the top 10 look at the top 15 best running backs this year look who's putting up the points and just i mean i think alex collins might be in that he may be discussion of top 15 right now isn't he yeah that's what i'm saying like it's it's been there's a couple of guys at the top And then it's just been churn, 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 even in real life, not on my fantasy team, you know? And so it's been churning through the NFL, just, you know, trying to find this. And and see Trent Richardson? A whole. Is he Trent Richardson right now? I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. I don't want to call anybody. I mean, Trent Richardson. Just, that's a slap in the basically, face. Basically, but, yeah. but no, but like yes. Trent Richardson came in and did his thing. He was catching balls. Mm-hmm. He was running cats over. Nobody wanted to tackle this guy. And he was a first round draft pick. In the, Which in the, isn't Collins, but. But Trent Richardson couldn't um, river dance. Irish dance? Is it river dance? Irish, I don't know. I think it's river, Irish dance. I, I don't think know river what, dancing is Irish dancing. Yeah. I thought river dance was like a collective group I of think. Irish dancers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that it's it's all that movement in your feet. Kind of like clogging yeah. or <laughs> yeah. I, a form Trent of tap Richardson dancing. couldn't get right in his head. He started to get out of shape. He got discouraged. He, he was got on traded. the Browns. Yeah, he, <laughs> got, <laughs> he was on the Browns. He got traded, and then it just went downhill. He was always a little bit overweight. Like I don't, I don't see signs of that kind of stuff going on with Alex Collins here. Uh, just to throw some more pros at him, uh, player profilers charted him with fifty three evaded tackles, uh, which is 11th in the league right now, and he's only playing half the snaps, and that's now. He wasn't yeah, but, always playing that well, what's many. his college dominator? I don't know. What was his breakout age? I just I like those evaded tackles, and then Pro Football Focus has him Because it ranked, doesn't matter. <laughs> Pro Football Focus has him ranked third among running backs in elusive rating. So it's like it's two websites giving me good metrics here, right? <laughs> yeah. It's on the internet. Yeah, so it must strong, be indicators, and strong indicators. Strong indicators. All you gotta do is watch the games. This dude is breaking it's mad tackles. The tenacity that he just won't be denied. Right, and that's uh, that's it's a something pure that, I, that you lo- running like willpower. Back. Right, and that's what I want out of a running. It's all back. a matter of willpower. Yeah. <laughs> the pen is royal blue. <laughs> all right. So let's throw them up against some guys. Yeah. So right? well, well, hang on. Before we do that, hold on, on a we, second. We were at we were at one twelve. Big because pretty much out on one twelve. Yeah. But would would sell for anything with a one? I don't think I would sell for the one twelve, but I would definitely buy for the one twelve. How does that? That doesn't make sense. W- what for me? Yeah. Like I don't think I would sell him for the one twelve. Like if I had him, I don't think I would sell okay. him for the one twelve. Okay. But I would definitely give a one twelve to try him out. Okay. I thought you were saying team. that try you wouldn't. 
I thought you were saying that you would sell them for 112 and you'd also give up 112 to get them. So that, that wouldn't have made sense. No. But so if you're saying, okay. I just want to see bad. how far we can go up the scale here. You want to so, go up? So let's just skip 111. We'll go right to uh, 110. I would do 111. 110 is. <laughs> oh, that's a threshold. Yeah. I don't, I haven't, I don't have like a top 10 rookie ranking yet. No. So I don't even know who I'm putting them up here against. And, and as the offseason gets going in the next uh, month or so, we'll start to get into that. Um, I guess I give up 110 at Ooh, this point. Hi, boys. He's lying. I think I would pr- most likely give up 110 because typically we had a really solid draft class this last go around here. And the bottom oh, half terrible. of that the draft. The next year is going to be better. Uh, every time. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> so we had a really good back end of this first round here who a lot of these guys either helped you get into the playoffs or now that you're seeing that they've been in the league for a little while, as like OJ Howard and Najoku are starting to develop a little bit and, and show you some, some more promise. But that typically typically doesn't happen. So when you're at one one ten, you're you start getting in a point where you're in a little bit of that weird no man's land. Mm-hmm. Of typically, can be. And, and and a lot of these previous drafts of dynasty leagues, and you know you hit through some of that and some of the twos and threes and whatnot. But yeah, I'll, I'll go I'll go I'll go ten, but I won't go nine. <laughs> The single digit scares them off. Yep. Once we're in the single digits, I'm I'm hanging on. I mean, we just moved our way up three spots into the first round. What more do you want here? Yeah. Well, I mean, where are you at? What you got? You going one nine? I could probably stop at one nine. <laughs> All right then. All right. <laughs> well, let's get back. Ask to Ask me your... in a month. <laughs> this is very true. This is very true. Yeah. Because well, I'm not trade. Well, could I guess change on Sunday. You probably can't make trades right now, right? Or Most is there... leagues is shut down. Yeah. So you got to wait to the off season anyway. And then you might as well just wait till after right. the draft. Well, this is perceived. We're talking about perceived value yeah. right now at this very moment. Yeah. You know, anything could happen. The dra- you know, they could draft. They could pull a Packers and draft three running backs. They could draft no running backs. Alex Collins could have the worst knee injury you've ever seen next week. Yeah. Hope not. Hope not either. 